as a John Suat used to say, put yourself in the right mood to meditate. Develop a sense of conviction, a sense of being inspired to do this. He said, this is high-level work we're doing. It's the work of the religion, the work of the Dharma. And we have the time and opportunity to do it. That should gladden the mind right there. Because you have to learn how to gladden the mind to practice. It's part of getting the mind into concentration. And it's part of the practice as a whole. You don't want to do the practice only when you're in the mood to do it. Because in that case, the moods are in charge. We've been reading about the five faculties. Conviction, persistence, mindfulness, concentration, discernment. Those things should be in charge, not your moods. Because your moods come and go like the clouds over the sun. But this practice is for times when you might not be in a good mood. Aging doesn't put you in a good mood. Illness doesn't. Death certainly doesn't put you in a good mood. But you need to be able to do the practice at times like that. That's when you need it most. And so if you just have a bad mood in the course of the day and it gets in the way of your practice, you're missing out on an important part of the skill, which is learning how to overcome your moods and do what needs to be done. And that way you really are a practitioner, you really are someone who's training the mind, and not just giving in to whatever comes through the mind. Because after all, you're looking for long-term welfare and happiness, and some of the things you feel like doing are going to go in the opposite direction, and some of the things you don't feel like doing are going to head you in the right direction. So your moods can't be in charge. You have to learn how to counteract them. Don't side with them. Say, this is my mood, and I have every right to be in this foul mood if I want to. Well, you have the right, but it's, it's not good for you. It's not in your own best interest. Think of what the Buddha said about governing principles. You came to this practice because you wanted to put an end to suffering. And then if you give up, and we're not talking about giving up forever, just giving up right now. Say, well, I don't feel like it right now. Do you want to suffer? Because that's what you're doing. You're choosing suffering over not suffering. So as you go through the day and you see your moods are getting in the wrong direction, do your best to counteract them. The Buddha gives you lots of things to think about, lots of ways to breathe, images to hold in mind that can all change your mood. And as long as you want to make use of them, then they're going to be useful. They can be helpful. So look at your underlying desire. Because there are times when you're in a bad mood and you try different things, but you don't really seriously try them because you don't want them to work. You've got to learn how to counteract that state of mind because it's not your friend. <laughs>